a cartoonist who sprinkled a heavy dose of wit and humor in his drawings, showcasing the ups and downs of contemporary Indian politics. VIPs demanded special treatment in airports and metro stations. If you can show this cartoon, can you see this cartoon yeah, Arnab, yeah, yeah. on your screen? Yeah, just raise it a bit uh, more. Yeah, the we can see. The cartoon is that this. Uh, yeah, this this particular MP, a, mem a member of parliament, has a, a helmet shaped like a red light. But now Sudhir Telang has lost the battle against brain cancer, and India has lost its ace political cartoonist. So he was a he was a very passionate practitioner of the art form, and there was a certain restless intensity in his work in in him which got reflected in his work. Um, he was a restless soul with a very fine talent. Sudhir Telang got his first major break in Mumbai with a weekly magazine in 1982. While he went on to make his mark across top national newspapers, the art of cartooning grew in stature. Today, I won't say that today we enjoy a very huge uh, stature in newspaper hierarchy, but R.K. Lakshman created a huge status or uh, in the hierarchy of uh, uh, newspapers for the cartoonists. I don't remember that in the last year, one day off from the cartoon. He would make a cartoon every day. He didn't take a day off. If he went out from the country, he went out from the city, then he would take all the stuff with him, all the scanners and everything. A man who could pack a punch with his brush has left behind an enviable legacy. निश्चित तौर पर एक बड़ा छती है सभी लोगों के लिए और कार्टूनिस्ट लोगों के लिए तो बहुत एक प्रेरणा था वो कि लोगों को मार्गदर्शन देते थे वो दुखद समाचार है. His byline may no longer be seen, but the cut and humor of his drawings will remain etched. And if you believe in Darwin's theory of, if you believe in Darwin's theory of. Evolution. Then I think by now yeah. our MPs and MLAs would have grown naturally yeah. a red light on their head. Yeah.